position yourself in a church where the power of God is moving. Because number one, for you to set your mind on the things of the spirit and not of the world, you have to be free. When you have demons, you are tormented so much, you become possessed. Where you don't have control, they've taken over. They're leading you to do things in the world, darkness, right? So, if you, if you want to be able to set your minds on the things of the Spirit, you have to first be free if that's what you need. Some people need a big deliverance, have many demons like we saw. And you just saw that that only the power of Jesus, where his true power is moving, can make them go. You can be a Christian your whole life, but if you're not at a place where the power of God is, demons hide. And you're a Christian your whole life, and you're like, God, why, why are you doing this to me? And why aren't you... Why aren't you helping me? Tormented your whole life. It's not God's will for you to be tormented your life. But we have to do things in God's way, God's order. We have to find a place. His church is important. His order is important. The fivefold ministry we hear in Ephesians 4, that's for the equipping of the believers. It's how you get equipped is to come to church where the power of God is. It's how you are set free and healed when you position yourself where the power of God is. The demons were being cast out by the handkerchiefs from Apostle Paul. You have to find where the power of God is really moving or else you'll be in a church where the demons are hiding your whole life. That's what happens. God is so good. It's all in his word. He has order. It's a good thing that he has order. There's no chaos or confusion with God. So now it's time that eyes are opening up to understand how things work in the spiritual realm, to understand God's way and his order so you can really receive the abundant life he wants to give you. 